but we're not talking about this saw drum. I've gotten some requests for something that I ended up building. And it is not a production unit. And it's in this box right here. So this is my home brew. 350 round ammo box that I built for the Firelight MCR and M249. So, as you can see there, I put it in a uh, IMI MA55 case, cut it to size, and actually works good for storage or whatever. I just have it loaded and uh, ready to go, but uh, I'll kind of break it open and we'll check it out and uh, kind of go over some of the features of this thing. So, uh, gotten questions about basically, hey, I want to buy this thing. Well, unfortunately, I'm not like a manufacturer. I'm just a guy to where if there's not something commercially available and I have the will and ability to make something and it's lawful, of course, then I'll do it. So we have a much larger box, as you can see there, compared to the 200-round drums. For reference, there's a 200-round drum there. And this is my 350-rounder. I just got MOE handguard box to take up the rest of the space in there. Let's unbox this thing, get it out. But uh, essentially, there it is. The 350 round big boy and uh, locks in and works and functions the same way but essentially the questions I've gotten I think on some YouTube video or Instagram posts can't really remember at this point is basically how did I make it or how did I go about building it well essentially if you look it's not too much different than the standard 200 round box and that's because, well, I basically took two 200-round boxes to create this 350-round box. I'll kind of open the side and go over how I did that. It's uh, a little bit easier to illustrate how I did that. So I'll unlock the uh, door and the ammo enclosure. Okay. That's basically the uh, bottom portion of the box that I cut and I cut it just before the bottom on that first section and then the cover from one of the boxes I basically took maybe a third of it and combined with the bottom to make my ammo enclosure okay so that's what I did for that and essentially if you see in there if you look closely it's actually two different boxes combined so I've got this bottom section, which was cut to about here, and then the top section, which was cut just below of the very bottom of the box. Now I had to remove maybe about a quarter of the material away, just like right at this curvature for that bottom portion, okay, because of the overall shape of the box. But there's nothing... Uh, spectacular about it that's kind of how I did it so and uh I put a little chamfer to where the uh, nose of the cartridges won't get bound up going from the bottom to the top it's nice and smooth in there uh basically I wrapped it with a very durable tape and epoxied it to the outside of both sides and then with some epoxy resin I reinforced both sides to make it real crisp and smooth and then coated it with a uh, variety of coatings so I ended up going with this uh, it's a very dark drab green it's kind of hard to tell it kind of looks brown but it's like a very dark olive drab and uh, essentially it's durable enough to where you can run it and uh, throughout this video I'm sure I'll be clipping in some portions of where I tested and ran this drum but uh, it runs flawlessly. 
in either the MCR or the M249. It's a good uh, good box that I built. It seems to hold up okay. So I built one in the past, and it wasn't as uh, robust. It was just kind of hastily built. This one is new and improved, and it's a lot better. So, um, and then for comparison, I've got this empty box. So essentially what I did is I took two of these. I chopped the first one right to about here, and that bottom portion I chopped it right at about here. Okay, right where this little bracket is. I combined the two, and that's how I got this 350-round uh, home brew. Okay, I'll state before, nothing's for sale. So uh, I'm not a manufacturer or anything like that. I'm just a fairly technically proficient guy, uh, current army contractor and uh got a background as an armor small arms aircraft armament and uh launchers that sort of background but uh if it fires a bullet chances are i'm pretty good with it anything to do with the weapon itself ammo handling or uh the system if it's a uh, weapon system so not just a small arm or cruiser weapon but essentially uh that's what I got for you guys today. Just a quick little rundown and overview how I made this thing. To caveat on how I attached that bottom bracket, just four pop rivets. Okay. Combine the two. Epoxy resin and uh, pretty thick reinforced tape on both sides. Sanded it all smooth. And there's probably no exaggeration like 12 to 15 coats of... Uh, paint over the epoxy primer and whatnot and get all the imperfections at least as many as I could off of there but it looks like a production unit except for like that door or cover so but I'm sure if someone were to make something like this they would definitely sell but uh that's kind of the 350 round ammo box for the Fight Light MCR and M249 saw. If you like what you saw in the video, go ahead, leave a like. If you got any questions, leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. This is Son of a Bitch Second Class, signing out.